Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dynasty. Got for y'all today another Mortal Kombat video. We're discussing the Mortal Kombat reboot movie dropping in 2021, being produced by none other than James Wan. I want to say the last time we talked about this new Mortal Kombat film that's going to be in theaters January of next year was maybe like four weeks ago. We discussed how they just finished wrapping up filming over in Australia and also how an ex WWE wrestler appears to have been casted for the role of Shao Kahn. So if you missed that video, Go check it out, it will be linked inside the description of this video. But now today we're discussing the trailer for the movie. Yes, the world premiere trailer for this. We now have an idea of when to expect this trailer for the film to drop. And it's crazy because just a month ago, Todd Gardner, a producer on the movie, said he had no idea. Now, a month later, it seems like, well, we kind of have a rough estimate. So it's a lot sooner than I think a lot of you guys think. But with that said... Let's break this stuff down. A few other small things to discuss. Let's have some fun. Let's get into it. So going back to Todd Gardner. Everything today is dedicated to the producer Todd Gardner. He's like really the only one giving us any details about the movie since I want to say they wrapped up filming. So a big shout out to him for giving us anything to work with here. So he was asked a couple weeks ago, when can we expect any kind of trailer? I'm dying here. Been waiting for this since the original came out. The response he gave was, I think this summer. From there, he was also asked, when will we have a Mortal Kombat teaser or trailer? This summer? The response was, yes, I would imagine so. So there you have it, this summer, May, June, July, I'm thinking maybe even August, we might finally get to see the trailer for this new Mortal Kombat movie dropping next January, and I am so stoked because that's honestly right around the corner, guys. That's like four or five months away. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I think them showing off the trailer at San Diego Comic-Con makes the most sense. I think a Mortal Kombat movie ties in perfect to that event, especially they can pull off like having the entire cast there. So people who are now familiar with who these actors are and their respective character roles for the film. I think that would be the perfect scenario. So I'm hoping it's a San Diego Comic-Con reveal, maybe even the week before, the week of. That would be cool too. So I'm hoping that's the case, but if not... Anytime during the summer it seems to be when we're going to be seeing a trailer for this film. It drops in January of next year. So if you're like me, that should get you really excited. So that's one thing I have to discuss. The film trailer should be dropping in just a matter of months. Now let's make our way to the next topic of the day. Spoilers when it came to filming the movie. If you guys remember, I want to say the first day of filming, we got to see like some leaked screenshots of them making like a downtown Chicago set in the middle of a town in Australia. And we got to see like some Sindel and Cetrion Easter eggs that we talked about. And pretty much that was like the only leaked screenshot that we had to work with out of like months of filming. Like we never got to see any of these characters rocking their attire, their gear. We, we really didn't see any leaks whatsoever. And when that got brought up to Todd Gardner, he came out and said, gotta have some surprise. So it seems like everybody who's worked on the film was really trying their best to make sure that nothing got out, which I can completely respect because it seems like every time a giant big feature film or like a Marvel movie is taking place, we're getting screenshots leaked to left and right. And it was just really cool to know and see that there is now at least some mystery to what these characters are going to look like. What's Sub-Zero gonna look like? What's Scorpion gonna look like? Raiden, you know what I mean? So. Seems like everybody wanted to keep things under wraps, and that makes me really happy. And also, making our way to the next thing to talk about. Same guy asked Todd Gardner about the fighting style in the film. He said, hey Todd Gardner, if you could compare the fights in the new Mortal Kombat to another film for overall look and style, which would it be from the below? Rumble in the Bronx, Ip Man 2, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Kung Fu Hustle. Thanks. And the response was, MK2020. One. So it seems like the film is going to stand on its own and have its own feel to it when it comes to like fighting scenes, fighting styles. I think that's really cool that they're not just taking something that's worked in other martial arts films and just translating that over to Mortal Kombat because, I mean, maybe that would have worked and it would have still been a successful movie, but, uh, you know, for it to have its own feel, its own entity to stand alone, I think it's definitely better for the future, especially if they're considering that maybe this Mortal Kombat movie evolves to an actual franchise and we get, like, a sequel to this. I think them having their own tone, feel, uniqueness is the better option, better choice here, so... There you have it, MK2021, fighting scenes, fighting styles, tone is going to be just something that stands on its own. 
makes me super excited to hear that this is going to be a unique movie. And speaking of like the, I guess you can say, the fight scenes and choreography, somebody had this to say right here. In all seriousness, this aspect of film is worrying us. Little info on what teams in charge of fight scenes, shaky camera, countless camera switches, and chaotic editing can doom Mortal Kombat movie. And these things are surprisingly common these days, even in all those Marvel movies. And Todd Gardner responded to that big paragraph by simply saying, Not happening. So that should get you excited if you've been worried about the presentation of these fight scenes. It seems like it's not going to be too chaotic all over the place. Shaky camera? I, I, I don't. I honestly never been a fan of that. And it's cool to know that neither is Todd Gardner because... The last thing I want to see is Liu Kang and Scorpion or Sub-Zero fighting and I gotta worry about a camera shaking back and forth when someone's throwing a punch. I, I think it just looks really corny and uh, reminds me a lot of like professional wrestling, at least WWE. They're always like zooming in, zooming out. So cool to know Shaky Cam will not be in the Mortal Kombat movie, at least during the fight scenes. And to double down on that, um, somebody attached a tweet with Greg Russo saying that again, it would stand on its own, and Todd Gardner replied back by saying, Yup. So there you have it. They know what they're doing. It's gonna be a unique fit of the fight scenes, and it's not gonna be super chaotic, over edited. It's not gonna be something that just ruins the movie. So fight scenes are gonna be done the right way. Honestly, I, I wish we could see a teaser already of this, but it's not gonna happen for a few months until a trailer comes out. And the last thing we have to talk about, so you guys might remember that the movie is now been moved up the release date went from a i want to say like the middle of march to january 15th of next year sorry had to look that up real fast i knew it was like january 12th or something but yes 15th of january the movie's coming out and when that you know news broke a couple weeks ago that pissed off a lot of people people immediately jumped the gun and were like man if this movie is going to be released in january it's going to be a flop and honestly they had every reason to say that because nine out of the 10 movies that drop in January are usually really bad. I know for me, I recently went out and saw The Grudge and that was horrible. Probably one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. And um, I walked out of there thinking like, man, this is a January movie. Mortal Kombat comes out January of next year. I'm scared. So even me, you know, I was affected by this idea. Not gonna lie, as optimistic as I've been lately about the film, I was immediately thinking of this idea of Cole Turner in January and it just not working out too well. But thankfully, thankfully, it seems like January has some hope, especially the MLK weekend that the movie is gonna be released next year on. So, Todd Garner came out and tweeted out this article. It says, Bad Boys for Life. Big with 6 million plus Thursday night grand opening. Following this tweet, he doubled down by saying, For those who still think MLK Weekend is a bad date, and again, linked this article right here. It was really cool to see because Todd Gardner was actually replying back to tweets from December. People saying like, ah, oh, movie's gonna flop in January, and he just was linking this article to naysayers. So he really does seem confident about the movie having a January release date. If he's confident, Greg Grus is confident, I mean, Bad Boys for Life being so far successful could be a lot worse. Still a bit nervous, but at least the producer is a bit optimistic here, and he really does think that this MLK weekend release date isn't going to affect the Mortal Kombat movie, so it is what it is. They're not going to change the release date again. I just I can't see him doing it, so cross your fingers hope for the best and um time will tell what happens and honestly i'm really curious do you guys think that a january release date is going to doom this movie i, I don't think so i think if the movie's good enough i think if there's enough hype for it people are gonna go and show up and watch the film i mean i think just december we had so many big movies come out it's one month to the next i mean we had star wars 1917 granted those are december movies i mean january is only a few weeks after that right right so Hoping for the best here. Hopefully they follow those bad boys and they have a great grand opening. We can see a sequel for this in the future. And if not, well, at least we have the animated movie that got announced a couple of days ago. But guys, that is all I got for y'all today. It seems like this summer we're going to finally get a trailer for this Mortal Kombat movie. I'm honestly so excited, so stoked. Also, fight scenes are going to be unique and hopefully like something we've never seen before. That would be really cool standing on its own. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Not too much going on in the world of the Mortal Kombat reboot. Hopefully in a few weeks or in time, I can keep you guys up to date with some more stuff that goes on. It's probably not going to be too groundbreaking. I doubt we get to see anything new until 
the actual like world premiere trailer for the film but until then guys i have been your host i've been dynasty hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did take one second drop a like on it of course subscribe for some more mk in your life take care stay safe and i'll see you guys later peace for years now, GTA, MK, and Justice, I'm still down, rapper meets gamer, I wonder how y'all feel now, that was just a setup, watch it get real now, okay, so me and Sub-Zero was born in 92, and lyrically I inherited all his fighting moves, a lot of y'all still lost, don't have the slightest clue, the truth disappears in the smoke, as if you